Gotcha. So you talked to the team about the leadership council about the need for fight. What does that mean to you as one of the captains on this team, and, and what that means to look like? I mean, yeah, it's just a mentality. Um, you know, every day, uh, fight, give your best effort, and uh, put your best foot forward. Do you sense a determination from the group that to end the losing streak? I mean, do you sense that, and, and can you articulate what that looks like? Uh, yeah, I do. I can sense that, and uh, you know, it's just been doing what we're doing. Um, you know, coming in, working hard each and every day, and you know, when the game comes, just you know, focusing on details each and every play, and um, being present uh, within each and every play. What are the things you can do to to try and push the thoughts of the losing streak out of your head? I imagine it'd be exhausting if you sat there and thought. No thought. No thought at all. No. Justin, anything specific uh, when you you guys reviewed the the film about your game, the the good, the bad that you liked? You've got to focus on details uh, within each and every play. Everybody's got to do the job. Justin, why do you think you guys haven't um, taken more advantage of DJ's abilities? You haven't got him the ball that much. What can you do to change that? Um, I mean, yeah, when you have a player like that, you always want to give him the ball. Defense knows that, you know. It's not like they don't know he's probably our best receiver. So uh, just like last game, they're gonna you know, put two guys over him. Um, they're gonna cloud his side, but of course, when we do get those ops, we definitely want to have uh, get get him the rock for sure. Are you seeing? We just talked about focusing on the details at every position. What does that mean to you as a quarterback in terms of focusing on details? Like, uh, I mean, it's a lot. Uh, of course. I have to know the most information on the offense, so I got to know what the defense is doing, uh, uh, know the run cans, know the criteria for uh, you know, each play. Um, if we have a different play, a different check uh, towards a, de a defensive look, got to take care of that protection-wise. Um, got to you know, tell the O-line where to slide to and stuff like that. So um, a lot goes into it, but um, you know, that's that's basically kind of what my part is when you know I got to focus on the details. So. Justin, on the, on the one you did hit the DJ up the left sideline, um, take us through that play and what you saw there and, and the, the ball you put out there. One high man. Uh, you know, DJ had a fade route. Just threw it to him. He made a good catch, good contested catch uh, late. So, yeah. What have you done mentally to kind of, you said after the game, big picture stuff, your perspective has changed a lot since last week. What have you done mentally to kind of focus yourself and deal with this adversity, probably this kind of adversity you've never dealt with before? Um, I mean, I just know, you know, all the adversity I go through is, you know, going to make me stronger. So, uh, you know, as a person and as a player. So, uh, you know, just got to look at, you know, the, the bright side of things and you know, think of yourself as, you know, going through adversity for a reason. Uh, so that's what I've been doing. Who can you lean on? Who do you lean on in the locker room for this? Hmm? Who do you lean on in the locker room for this? Who do you lean on in the locker room for this? Uh, you know, I think uh, Mooney a lot, for sure. Um, he's probably the main guy that I just go and talk to, um, rap with. But, um, you know, a lot of guys. We have a lot of great leaders. Uh, I talked to DJ a little bit this week. And, um, you know, just, just try to get the leaders of the, you know, offense and make sure everybody's morale is, is up and, you know, everybody's still uh, determined to go in. How do you keep everybody's morale up? Just talking to them, communicate. Justin, you mentioned Darnell Mooney. What, what can you do – specifically to kind of get him more involved in the game plan. He hasn't maybe been as impactful as obviously you would maybe like him to be. I mean, yeah. Uh, he knows he's going to get the ball and he plays for him. I mean, I feel like you call a play for DJ, y'all say we're not getting the ball to DJ enough, and then, of course, Moon, and then next is going to be Chase, and it's going to be Cole. So it's like we have a lot of playmakers on offense. So, you know, everybody's not going to be able to get 15 targets a game. Like, we got to you know, spread the love around. So, um, yeah, I mean. Certain instances where they do put two people on DJ, then you know Moon, Moon Chase, or you know Cole might get it or something like that. So um, you know, just 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 spreading the ball out, and uh, of course, you know, wanting to get a wanting wanting to get the ball, you know, in our playmakers' hands, you know, when that opportunity is available. Justin, I know it was a, a loss, and the numbers are the numbers, but did you feel freer out there, less robotic? Some of the things that you were talking about last week that you wanted to kind of overcome. Yes, I did. Justin, you, Justin, you. You guys are obviously coming off your loss to the Chiefs. They're coming off, Broncos are coming off a 50-point loss. How much does it come down to on Sunday, which group of players kind of just wants to get off the skid? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's ultimately what it's going to come down to. Um, you know, who's going to execute more? Of course, we're both 0-3, so um, we're both you know, one in that first one in the season. So, um, 
going to be scrappy. Uh, and it's going to come down to you, who executes more uh, situationally, um, you know, who has more takeaways and stuff like that. So, you know, we all the we we all know the things that you know go into uh, winning a game. So we just got to take care of those details and. Um, win the turnover battle and et cetera, et cetera, and just at the end of the day, score more points. Blue, Justin, said, Blue said the other. Blue said the other day, I think it was Monday, that he feels like you guys are close in spite of the losses. And I know, I think it was after Tampa Bay. You said you feel like you've got a long ways to go. How do you balance where the head coach feels the direction of the team is, but also you personally commanding this offense? Run that back, Mark. Flu said that he feels like you guys are close and. You said that you feel like this offense has a ways to go. So I didn't mean it like that. Um, you know, in terms of long way to go, I mean reaching our potential, reaching our full potential. Um, I think Flus was meeting it as close to winning a game. So, in terms of yes, we're close to winning games, and I think we have a lot of potential to go to to hit our ceiling. So.